Look. Okay, well, if I can get that <laughs> off of my foot. You can also we'll be learn to right. dance that way. <laughs> That's actually how I learned how to flat foot dance, yes. believe it or not. <laughs> This here is a is a piece of white oak, and uh, white oak is what and where they would find white oak is either in the bottoms in the floodplains, or on the northern slopes away from the laurel. If they found them on the ridge lines, they found them on the ridge lines, that wind would batter that tree and twist that tree. Nearly impossible to get splints such as these out of, out of a twisted tree. Nearly impossible. So, if they look into the bottoms, that tree is going to grow much more straight. It's blocked by the wind. If they look at the northern slopes away from the laurel, the first branches that sprout out are much higher. So you're getting much more trunk, is what you're getting. More trunk, more basket, more money. You go down here to this mill, 12 and a half cents for a bushel of cornmeal. You don't have 12 and a half cents, but what you do have is your double-sided pie basket. Lizzie Mabry, she just might not, she just might need one of these for a blackberry pie. She just might need one. This year to get you two, maybe three bushels of cornmeal. The buttery system was in place here. It was a very remote and very isolated area. The buttery system was definitely in place here. They find, they, they find their tree, let's say they find their tree on the northern slope. Okay? So, they find their tree, no knots, no blemishes. Blemishes, it could be diseased. You could have weakened wood. I don't know about y'all, but carrying 60 pounds of cornmeal in this year bushel basket on the, using weak wood is not the best idea. So, no knots, no blemishes. Now, once they find their tree, again, no knots, no blemishes, they would, some folks would be able to, to look at the bark and tell what kind of tree, and to tell what, what kind of wood is on the inside of that tree. Others would feel the bark, and if it was soft, smooth, and flaky at the touch, that there is a good basket-making tree. They wouldn't stop there. They'd take a knife, cut a notch into that tree, watch the sap ooze out. Watch the sap ooze out. I read one report of a guy who actually bit the tree to find out how soft that wood was on the inside. True. <laughs> they find their tree. <laughs> yes, quite possibly. Quite possibly. They find their tree. They go and they cut that tree down. They cut it down into logs. And what they'll have, what they'll use next, is this here fro. That's what this is here.